I began by creating the head mold. After purchasing the alginate and plaster gauze online, a mold of my entire head was created. Glad wrap was placed over my head to avoid sticking to my hair. The plaster was separated into the front and the back to assist taking it off my head. The next step was to make a positive mold. After taping the front and back of the cast together with tape, I would pour the plaster into the head and let it set. However, the mold was not strong enough and the cast split into two again. I decided to only mold the front of the head with the plaster. This problem became a positive in the end, as the plaster would have been too tough to break to put the internal machinery in, and I only had to do minor touch-up with sandpaper and a file. For the back of the head, I instead opted for expanding foam. My first attempt had poor internal structure, shape, and it did not connect with the front of the cast. For my second attempt, the back head cast was attached to the plaster head by tape, and the expanding foam was poured in. A hole was made for the internal machinery within the back of the head. This internal machinery was made out of an empty spray can with its body trimmed with an angle grinder and spray painted chrome. Two of these were made, one for the prop head and one for myself. After placing the can into the head, I used a bullet cap and a wig to cover the side and back of the head where there was less detail. An incision was made where the can was in the cap and the wig. The head was then painted with acrylic paint and so was the flabs of skin which were made out of silicone. The height of the head was possible by boxes and pieces of wood. A towel would cover everything below the neck to hide this. The mirror for this set was built using MDF wood with a cut made in the center. Two pieces of an old pallet were used for support. This was then placed on a table and props were placed on each side, measured to perfection. A second light was also used within the room to match the shadows of each side of the mirror. Four people total were needed for this effect. Myself in the reflection, a person opening the prop head, their reflection in the mirror, and someone filming. I had my friends wear similar clothes to avoid inconsistencies. 